All right, so it's five o'clock. It's time to go home. Uh, I'm waiting for my customer to come pick up their little Isetta Cabrio. And I want to show you something. This is my sweet, sweet Dauphine. It's looking so much more sweet now. Look at that glossy paint job. No more dents, dings. I just demasked it. This is the third try, I think. The first coat of clear, I did it on a night after work and the bugs just were attracted to the paint. And I had to re-sand the whole car in 320 and start over again. So this last weekend, I re-cleared the car with a little better clear, high solids clear versus a production clear. And I really like it, it's super shiny. I got a few runs, but runs just means that I got enough on there. It's really good. Uh, let me find a run. I was just looking at, oh, there's a run right there. You can see that kind of a heavy, heavy spot. I got to sand that out. And there's one right there, the drip. So there's a couple, not too many. And there's another one there. I'll take care of that. And my blue wheels got a little overspray on them. And of course, there's overspray on the windows. And I'm still demasking. I have to demask the. I don't know what you call the air intake step guard there and go around and polish a few things. There's still a few little bugs and bits and nips and little nibbles, but it just looks so great and I'm so happy. It makes me really, really happy. So the next thing is put the car back together. Ooh, another run right there. There's going to be a few of those, but it looks good. I'm very pleased. It's no longer a rusted and dented Dauphine. It's... Not concourse quality by any means, but it's pretty good. It's good enough, as you'd say. I'm going to show you what I'm doing next. So the Dauphine has body molding. Basically, these little holes here that run along. There's a, a side molding that goes all the way along the car, and I have all those. And they just look terrible. So I was trying to figure out what to do, what to do, what to do. So I've got them here. I started polishing on them. You can see this is, they look tarnished. They got mold on them. They look awful. So I outfitted my uh, bench grinder here with a polishing wheel, and I took this polishing, set this down here, polishing, I don't know what you call it, polishing gummy bear or something like that, uh, and you rub it on the wheel there, you turn it on, you rub a little bit on there, it melts on there creates a little rouge, I think is what it's called. And then you apply that to the uh, to the molding and it comes out sparkling like new. You gotta be very careful. These are aluminum moldings and you can easily dent, kink, fold one in half. And you don't wanna do that. They're actually in pretty good shape. I just gotta clean them up. So I'll be spending a few hours cleaning them up and putting them on the car and that'll look really great. So I'm excited about that. And then of course I have to do that with everything else on the car, the bumpers, the well, we'll see. I might not put the bumpers on it. It looks pretty good without. Uh, anyhow, I'm pretty impressed. This car was a wrinkled up mess, and I pretty much gave up on this part here. I'm going to redo it. It is still a wrinkled up mess. You can see how many dents are in there. It's just awful. That's the way the whole car looked. This is the spare tire holder. It goes right, right underneath there, right in that hole. Um, I may do something cool there. I don't know. Maybe I'll do some type of grill or air intake. I don't know. But that thing is just wrinkled and terrible. But it's a lot better than it was. And then I had to put a chain on the hood. The hood was opening too far. You can see this chain here. And it was breaking the headlight. I rebondoed that a couple times. It's a weak spot. Um, it's holding up good now. And I've got new lights, new vents, painted the underside of the hood, which is single stage, no clear. Did all the jams, door frames. They all look really good. Other than the overspray, still got to demask this handle. I think I'm going to do the dash red. It'll look really good with my red, my red seats, red dash. Finish the steering wheel. That's going to look great. Maybe some red door panels. Got some, got some stuff in mind here. We're going to put a little color on the Dauphine. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me. I don't know how many hours I've gotten this thing. A ton. Uh, redid a bunch of stuff because I just couldn't stand. There is no such thing as a quick paint job.
and I guess I'm just too much of a perfectionist to let a few dents go. I did let a few dents go, but you're going to have to find them. All right, thanks for watching.